clear cell adenocarcinoma of the vagina, Wikipedia article audio. Clear cell adenocarcinoma of the vagina is a rare adenocarcinoma often linked to diethylstilbestrol, a drug which was prescribed in the mistaken belief that it prevented miscarriage and ensured a healthy pregnancy. Clinical Features History After age 30 it was thought day daughters no longer were at risk for the disease, but as they age into their 40s and 50, cases continue to be reported. Researchers are now watching for a possible spike of CCA cases in postmenopausal day daughters, since this is when this cancer is normally diagnosed. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, day daughters should have a special pap-slash-pelvic exam every year because of their lifelong risk for clear cell adenocarcinoma. The screening is similar to a routine exam but is more comprehensive and should be done every year for day daughters even after a hysterectomy. Although the cervix was removed in surgery, the vagina remains and should be examined for the possible development of CCA. Updated screening guidelines in 2012 allow some women to skip annual PAPs. But in developing the guidelines, the United States Preventative Services Task Force specifically spelled out that the guidelines do not apply to day daughters, who should continue having annual screenings. The synthetic estrogen day was given to millions of pregnant women in the United States and other countries. Use in the U.S. was primarily from 1938 to 1971 but not limited to those years. Internationally, day use continued until the early 1980s. Day was given if a woman had a previous miscarriage, diabetes, or a problem pregnancy with bleeding threatened miscarriage or premature labor. Up until the mid to late 1950s some women were given day shots. After that, day was primarily prescribed in pill form. Day also was included in some prenatal vitamins. In the late 1960s through 1971 a cluster of young women, from their teens into their 20s, was mysteriously diagnosed with CCA, a cancer not generally found in women until after menopause. Doctors at Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston eventually linked day exposure before birth to the development of CCA in these young women. They determined the risk for developing CCA among so-called day daughters is small, estimated at 1 in a 1,000. This article incorporates public domain material from the U.S. National Cancer Institute document Dictionary of Cancer Terms. Clear Cell Adenocarcinoma Entry in the Public Domain NCI Dictionary of Cancer Terms.